This is Jack and Ori Jr. Oh, hello. I'm Sanjeev. If you go for a walk in the deep, dark woods, do you ever wonder if there's someone or something watching you? Maybe there's a pair of eyes peering out through the long grass. If you hear the crunch of a twig or the rustle of leaves, what do you think it is? Perhaps it's a monster. Do you believe in them? What's the scariest monster you can think of? Does it have claws, sharp teeth? Orange eyes. Will it want to eat you? Well, the story I'm going to tell you is all about a quick-thinking mouse who comes face to face with an owl, a snake, a fox, and the scariest monster of all. <coughs> a gruffalo. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why? Didn't you know? He has terrible tusks. And terrible claws, and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Oh, where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks, and his favourite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox. I'm off. Fox said, "Goodbye, little mouse," and away he sped. Silly old fox. Doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why? Didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned-out toes, and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by this stream. And his favourite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream. Do it, do it. Goodbye, little mouse. And away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no, I'm having a feast. With a gruffalo, a gruffalo. What's a gruffalo? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favourite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know there is no such thing as a gruff bello? But who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? <laughs> he has knobbly knees and turned-out toes. And a poisonous wart on the end of his nose. His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles 
all over his back. Oh, help! Oh, no! It's a Gruffalo! My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. <laughs> All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl? Hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox? Hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy's beginning to rumble. My favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble? The Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep, dark wood. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. This story is about a nice witch who had big problems on a stormy day when she found herself needing some room on the broom. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat. When the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I'm a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down, said the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I'm a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow 
but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. I'm a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be. And I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips, said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a terrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in the dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom, with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. And it's time for me to go too. Watch out for witches. See you soon. Bye bye.